Zbelzy commentary and, and plan. <laughs> I can't believe I failed. Hello, <coughs> YouTube. That was actually. I got a drink so. Mm. <clears throat> that was actually January. <clears throat> I bet you think I acted that, but I didn't. <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome to another full game commentary. Today we're playing Vagar, and we're not playing him AD. No, we're playing him AP, Rooney. We've got Akali. Going top against that uh, Warwick of ours, we have Olaf versus Olaf, double Olaf Dior in the jungle, this is normal, yes, so you can have two of the same champions. Uh, we got an AP Soraka mid versus me, AP Vagar, yes, and we have, uh, what was it, support Shen ver uh, and Ezreal versus support Nunu and Tristana. So yeah, a couple of uh, rare or different picks there from the enemy team, but that's what you get in normal sometimes, so... Yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Uh, yeah, AP today, very good. I bet a lot of you wanted me to play him AD. <laughs> but I do enjoy the occasional AP. Uh, a lot of people seem to think that I never play anything else but AD. Which is not true. I, like, my main role is, yes, my it's it's mainly AD. I mean, that's what I usually play and that's what I'm best with, I reckon. But um, I do enjoy the occasional AP and the occasional support. But that's quite rare. Yes, that's quite douchey, isn't it? Let's take a sip of this coffee again. I hope you guys are drinking something. As you know, that's the general rule of thumb if you want to enjoy these commentaries. So yeah, going Vagar AP versus Soraka. Soraka does actually have some nice pushing power with her Starfall. And um, she also has some nice damage, so I'm trying to really be careful here and try to avoid any damage she can deal with me while leveling up my W in this game. Because I want to be able to last hit minions and push the wave back when she is pushing towards my turret so I don't lose too many minions on her. Um, freaking Starfall spam pushing. I really should have last hit these minions better and hit them once before the turret hit like I did on this last one and tried that on all of them, but I failed a little bit and that's okay. Uh, so yeah, I level up my W uh, to a point where I feel like I don't need to level it up more because I'm last hitting the ranged creeps with it. And at that point I level up my Q and then lastly the stun. Uh, in terms of runes, I go... what is it that I go? I go... Um, uh, ability power... Uh, quints, flat ability power quints, uh, magic penetration marks, and I go flat ability power seals and glyphs. Uh, that of course leaves me, as you can see, with a bit of mana problems, but I do get the Deathfire Grasp, at very, the very first item, and that gives me some mana with the codex, like I was clicking a bit on there. Uh, so that is cool, and I usually find myself playing a bit passive in the early levels and waiting until I'm level 8. That's usually what I do with Vagar. Uh, right now I think I make a little mistake. I go for, I want to go with my W and last hit the back creep waves. Uh, the back creeper, creepy creepies, but Soraka gets the silence, and I managed to pull up the uh, W by that misses, and now I'm in a bad position. She's gonna use, oh, and a fatal flash, she's gonna use her ignite, and that's a starfall for the first blood. Good job on her part, and very, very failed play by me. I completely forgot about her silence, that was very, very bad. Yeah, I usually play a bit of gank failing top there. I usually play a bit passive with Vagar. That's usually what you do. Like, there are very few characters that you can actually push back against in the early levels. So you want to wait until you get level 6, level 7, get that Deathfire grabs and Grasp, and then you can start one-hitting people. Which is what I enjoy the most. <laughs> oh, yes. I do run Teleport here. Um, I played a lot with Ignite as well. But I find myself, like, in terms of the playstyle that I just explained to you, I find myself not using Ignite that much. Obviously, against the Sorak, it would have been a good idea. But, um... Uh, yeah, since this is normal, I didn't know that they had a Soraka. And also, I find myself not using it that much, since I can basically one-hit whatever target I choose to engage upon uh, when it comes to the late game. Gonna go for a stun here. We do have Olaf coming in. Gonna use my damage there and getting her to half health with the help of Olaf. He's gonna stack that red buff. She uses her wish. She's level 6. I'm not. And she does a fatal flash, though, which is a bit uh, sad from her, because that is gonna lead to her death. There we are, a kill for me, a bit of a revenge, that's good. Uh, she really should have tried to wait until she was close to the wall and then flashed over that. Uh, because I didn't have flashed up, I used it when I screwed up in the middle earlier. So that was good, getting me back into the game a little bit. A nice gang from all of us as well. God, my English is failing already. And we're only a couple of minutes in. Mm. Plant is here, obviously. Yeah. Oh, how you doing, man? He's doing fine. You know, he doesn't talk that much, but he... He, um... It keeps me full with joy, if you will. 
Yes, let's take it into the softcore. Come on. No, let's not do that. That's what I do on my stream every now and again. Regarding the stream, um, a lot of you have been asking, and that's very, very flattering. Been asking, oh, gotta run away so I can come in with blue buff, and I'm gonna go and claim my blue buff, so it's gonna be cool. All of us invading are wraith at this point. The wards spotted it, so we know that, so it's all cool. Yeah, I haven't been streaming that much lately. Just because of the fact that I haven't had much time. I haven't had. There's a lot of st things going on, a lot of exciting things regarding to YouTube as well, which I am gonna share with you. Um, not in this video, but in the future, so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, so I do find myself not having that much time, and uh, when that is the case, I really want to just relax a little bit and just play a little bit with friends and record footage for you guys in the meantime and focus on the YouTube thing a bit. When I get more time though, <clears throat> maybe in the summer or something, we'll see. I will pick up streaming and I will do it more frequently. Gank incoming bottom, Shen doing a nice flash and shadow dash into Tristana and Soraka picking up that kill. So good job on her. I am coming in though with my ultimate and I have Olaf in the back. Soraka overextending a little bit, getting my stun off. And is that gonna be a full combo? Yes it is. Oh, not gonna be enough and she uses Wish there, getting him back to full HP. And we should just disengage right now. The banana hitting our Olaf and Soraka is gonna grab a double kill. And here comes Olaf chasing me down with the axe in my face and I am dead. So a very, very bad engage, grabbing four kills for them, three kills for Soraka, one for Olaf. And that was just generally very, very bad. <laughs> so that was a bit unfortunate. I do run teleport, like I said. Uh, I do find it more if you can use utilize it. The, the thing with teleport is, um, if you pick teleport, you really need uh, in order to be it to be an effective summoner spell. You really need to utilize it uh, offensively and utilize it well. I'll work grabbing a kill top. That's good. Uh, not only using it to getting back into the lane more quicker because that is not, you know, the key function of it. Uh, so I'm gonna try and use that in the in the I'm, I'm gonna do some fails on some good uh, things in the video with teleport So you're gonna just stay tuned for that What else is going on? I managed to get a new little shiny outlook on the channel So if you've seen uh, haven't visited my channel page lately feel free to go there and see the new shiny background that I've got You can see plenty in there. I'm in there and it's looking overall neat um, mm. Oh God, that's hot. I'm drinking coffee. Did I mention that? Maybe I did and in terms of the build on Vagar, I usually go for Rylas Crystal Scepter after my Deathfire Grasp and my um, Sork Boots. Because I usually find it very cool. Oh, Olaf coming in for a little gank here. I'm gonna see if I can land my stun. There it is, and it's gonna go off. Nice, gonna use my full combo here. I don't have the Deathfire Grasp yet, but he's gonna come in and I'm gonna go, no, go back. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, I do like to go with that for that uh, Rylas Crystal Scepter because your cooldown on your Q will at max level be very, very low. And you can actually utilize some nice slows from that Crystal Scepter uh, if you get it. And I really like the HP, makes me a bit more beef, and it also gives me ability power, obviously. So, you know, I, it's not a bad item, it's not a bad item. Um, again, I don't play that much AP, you will probably have some thoughts and, and ideas for what I do here, so feel free to utter them in the comments below. Let's talk about comments, by the way. I really am so flattered about the amounts of comments I'm getting, and most of them are nice, and the, the, the ones that aren't are quite, you know, constructed in their way. Um, so I really love all the comments that you guys are posting. Coming in bottom with the teleport now, don't have ultimate, I don't have Deathfire Grasp either, so not able to do that much damage, and I'm flashing after Olaf, even though I'd have all my cooldowns on cooldown, if that's what you say, I don't know. But yeah, very, very bad. That's a typical, like, AD player mistake. You flash in because you think you will deal damage automatically with your attacks. No, you don't. You need your cooldowns, and you need to know that your cooldowns is up before you flash, uh, otherwise you'll waste that flash on a whim, which I did just there, and that is not gonna be good, and Soraka is gonna get the mid turret in the meantime with those minions. So yeah, it's not looking too good right now. I'll be honest, it's not looking too good. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh my god, Soraka almost grabbing kill me, I remember. Um, I, I think I got away on the last tick of Ignite there. And she is gonna gra grab a kill on uh, Olaf, which is unfortunate. Now you're probably wondering, Spazzy, why the crap did you fast forward through this? And uh, yeah, I had to cut it, cut it at some point because this video was uh, getting quite long. So I had to kind of cut it down in order for you guys not to get bored. I really want to keep the videos condensed in a way. I don't know if that makes sense, but I want to try and fast forward through some of the less exciting bits. Gonna try and catch Soraka here and uh, realizing that she has her ultimate up and she's a bit out of range and there's a huge creep way that I need to take care of. It's gonna have to back off there. But yeah, I, was just, I mentioned the comments and uh, I just wanted to say again, I say this a lot, but I feel like I can't say it enough. Um, 
I'm very flattered about the comments and right now I just don't I don't have the time to stream and even less so time to respond to all the comments I do mostly read uh, most of them this is a nice little bait here I'm going in with my full combo I do have Death Deathrite Grasp and she's gonna blow her ultimate just on a whim thinking that I would combo her with everything that I had so that is gonna be cool yeah I, I cannot answer all of them and I've actually taken a little step back because I've, I was getting so into it that it actually affected the, the time I had for making videos and I think that you guys will agree that that is not good like I know you guys enjoy when I respond to the comments, but I think you enjoy the videos more. Am I right? So I actually took a little step uh, off and said, okay, read the ones that you got time to read and, uh, you know, respond to those that you get a spontaneous answer. If, your answer, if you have a question, check out the FAQ that I've got on my um, uh, YouTube page. So, because uh, most of the questions I get are very, very repetitive, and I do answer them all in the FAQ. So, if you take it out, like, what do you record with, and such information can be found there. So, right now, I'm being a bit impatient. I want to go in. We should have waited for Olaf. Uh, he is here now, though. I'm going to try and lock down Soraka. Getting that entire combo off. Is it? Oh, it's not enough. Oh my gosh, he's getting away on like 10% HP there. Banana coming in. Will he? Oh, good job from Tristana dodging that. But look at Soraka. My god, that is just annoying. I know that I was so annoyed at this point. Uh, and a an useless stun from me. <laughs> My god, that is so fail. But it's gonna be cool. Work is coming in now. Akali is top, so we are actually good to go for Drake, which we should be doing right now. So I remember this little sequence. We're a bit uh, indecisive here in what we should and should not do. My burpee poo. What was that word? I don't know. So I'm trying to land my stun on Ezreal here. I miss it. And Work is going in for her, even though him <laughs> or her, who knows? Uh, even though I have all my cooldowns up and I don't can't do any damage. But he's gonna ignite that Shen. Shen is gonna flash out. He's gonna flash after it. Will he be able to get that last two off? Come on. Yes, that's a kill. Good job. So I guess it was worth it going in there, but we should probably have just stayed. Uh, but Olaf here is gonna be way too aggressive. Tristana is coming in, Nuno is coming in, he's gonna have to get out of there using his ultimate. So he's low HP, he doesn't have ult. Uh, still a very good key to do uh, dra Dragon. I am trying to argue a bit against it here, I remember. Soraka placing down a ward, uh, and uh, we're being a bit like, mm, I don't know, but yeah, Nuno goes for a pink, and that's just the key to go right there. So we're, we're gonna have to go in. Uh, again, Olaf was slow, Shen was dead. It's the, it's, it's the key to move in, and I can just poke at uh, Sraka when she comes, because I don't do that much damage to the Drake, I'm not that much sustained damage anyway. Tristana should be going for it. That ward is in range, great job, clearing that up, very, very nice. And Banana coming in, ooh, actually almost killing that Olaf. My god, that is always scary. Oh. We do get that Drake, good job, catching up slightly, and uh, I'm gonna go back, try a bit of a fail wall there on... Uh, Soraka. So after the Rylas, I usually get the um, life steal component from uh, the Will of the Ancient, and then uh, I build that up. If I don't feel like I need a Quicksilver Sash for suppressed CC or stuff like that, uh, I usually go with that, and uh, then I usually go for Zonias or a Ramadan's Death Cap. You know, that was Jamaican, by the way. Yeah, I completely mastered the language. Of course I do. My teleport is up. I do have some nice AP right now. I want to teleport bottom, but I can't. There's no ward there, so I'm going to go and get blue instead. And bottom is, seems to be all fine. Uh, Tristana grabbing a kill there. We're going to come in here. We do not know that Olaf is here. So uh, I am getting warned that he does have ultimate. So, uh, But I think, what the hell, let him pop it. And he actually does. So that is great. So uh, yeah, the stun of uh, Vagar is so strong. and People are quite scared. <laughs> person. That's the, the power of Vega. Nice Shen bait there from Soraka there. Gonna go in the brush and we're not gonna be able to see Shen. I'm gonna come in though and manage to grab the stun that is the key to go in. I do my entire combo. Warwick secures the kill with a, suppre a suppression and we actually managed to um, get her. And Shen here is also gonna take a Q damage and a W and that's a double kill. Good job, good job. And I'm trying to say, I'm a bit hesitant here. I'm trying to save Olaf but it wasn't gonna be enough so I waited a bit uh, making sure that I was gonna hit that stun and get some damage off on Akali and they're gonna bat back off and so it's worked because he's out of mana that was okay two for one exchange and um, yeah a double kill for me which is gonna help me a lot so I can now start one hitting people and, and catching up from the bad start that I had and <sighs> playing Vagar that is really what I enjoy what, what I enjoy about Vagar that he <laughs> has so much single target new potential I really enjoy getting a perfect initiation on the key target my god that big rate and uh, completely denying them any chance to participate in the team fight because they're just suddenly dead <laughs> and that is just something I enjoy a lot. In terms of competitive play I think Vega is sort of a situational champion um, if you're playing normals though and having fun Vega is oh, always fun always fun in my opinion 
So uh, right now we are uh, trying, I'm trying to go back actually because I do have a lot of money I want to spend. Uh, but we're getting uh, into a nice position here. We know uh, Akali is actually quite stuck there. Sorak is coming in, we have good wards, we can see them. I'm trying to use my W where Warwick suppressed uh, Akali. I'm stunning out Soraka from this fight, making sure that she cannot uh, participate or heal Akali. And we're going to move in and get the uh, little kill still there for my kill, nice. I do have my uh, cooldowns up right now, so I can just go in and use everything on Soraka. Will it be enough? There's that combo I was talking about. and even though she flashes out of the W with Warwick and, and all of their the ultimate secure the kill. So good job. We're catching up slowly and steadily. Oh, ho, ho. what do you know if it isn't Mr. Fawn? Oh, I'll take that later. As you know, he always intercepts me when I'm doing this commentaries. I'm teleporting bottom here, letting Tristana know that I'm gonna go in, trying to make a play with my teleport. Unfortunately, I'm not enraged and that banana is gonna bring it down and... Ah, oh, PSG goes down on Tristana. And I remember he rages a lot here. It's hilarious. You gotta treasure those moments. You don't usually rage that guy, so it's hilarious. Uh, what he did was he didn't manage to get his exhaust off on Ezreal, and that would have neglected a lot of the damage, so he went down. And uh, that was just hilarious when he went. Argh! He doesn't usually do that again, so yeah, fun times, fun times. Uh, Soraka here being very clumsy, she doesn't have Merc Tress, I'm just gonna go in to use my full combo and since I have the Rylas now with AP and Sork Boots I can just burst her down immediately. And uh, I love when people underest underestimate the burst of Aegar. So I just went in there, grabbed the secure till, kill, following Shen now with Oracle, we know what we have Warder so we know he's gonna stop there. I'm just gonna go in and unfortunately my stun just... Oh, slightly misses and it uses a nice shadow dash to get out of there. Uh, suppression goes down for Warwick, Warwick flashes out uh, after him immediately, uh, getting that damage on it. I don't want to face check this, I don't want to use my flash just yet, waiting it out. I know they're going to go for work if they don't go for me. There it is, I'm going to flash over the wall, use my Q, get some damage off there, and there's this stun. And I think I missed my W there, but it's okay since we have damage here. So, again... Really capitalizing well right now on the fact that we have vision and uh, Shen tried to clear them, uh, them uh, words, but he didn't manage to, he only managed to clear like one and then he got down by us. So, so really, really well played by us there, I must say. And right now, Tristana is also grabbing a kill bottom and there he uses the exhaust uh, efficiently, which is good. Missing a W on the golem, sir. Well played by Zbazinator. Beautiful. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go back once again. And oh, Tristana falling to some sort of engaged bottom. Don't know what happened there. Now I'm getting the component of the um, uh, Will of the Ancient Turf and grabbing another golem, keeping those cooldowns low, lows and keeping that mana up, which is really what you want to do. And pushing out this mid here, trying to uh, make a successful play somewhere, zoning out uh, Sorak a little bit there. Uh, when you use your E to zone, you really gotta be careful because when you use your E, that is usually a cue for the enemy team to engage since they know you don't have that huge CC up. So uh, be careful when you use your E for not nuking someone down because if you use it only for zoning, uh, the enemy team might act upon that and go in or do something because they know you don't have that CC. Uh, right now we're trying to make a little play, but our Tristana is getting caught. No. And he's taken a lot of damage from that banana. And I realized that I stunned Shen in the Nunu ultimate, so I am gonna use my ultimate on him and, and down him. I wouldn't otherwise have done that because Shen is not the main target. He is support though, so he's quite squishy. And now I'm gonna try and go for Sraka. Going in way too deep here, and I don't realize what coolness I have, but I managed to down Sraka, and now I'm just running away using my Rylas to slow um, the um, Olaf and just trying to kite him out. And here comes Tristana to save the day and do some damage. And that true damage from Olaf is just lovely. So uh, yeah, that, that actually went pretty well, even though I didn't uh, do that well. Like That is the main problem I found myself doing. Oh my god, Akali coming in, raping our AD, that's unfortunate. And we didn't even manage to get him because he got knocked back by Tristana a bit too late, unfortunately. Uh, so the main thing about playing a AP is knowing the cooldowns, like knowing approximately in a hot heated situation. Actually, this is a good example of the stun, I remember. I used it here to zone them out to get some free damage, but Ezreal uses his Essence Fox very nicely there and gets some nice damage off of me and I managed to get uh, some uh, spell run from um, that uh, W. And here I'm a bit scared that Warwick's gonna get caught, so I'm gonna use that and sh farm these freaking minions on the way. Why not? Going doots! And that's also something you wanna do. Go doots as often as you can. What was I talking about? Yeah, the cooldown. So it's usually, like, that's usually the hardest part for me, at least, when I don't, don't play AP that much. Knowing approximately where my cooldowns are. Oh my god, a banana coming in! Ooh. So I'm moving to the side here. I don't want to get hit in the base with a banana. I don't think it had enough damage, but yeah. Going for a needlessly now. You know what I mean with the cooldowns, guys. I don't have to say that a third time. <laughs> now we're trying to make a play. We do have um, uh, quite a lot of things pushed. And we just realized that Ezra is bottom, Chen is bottom. Let's just go freaking Baron. 
They know we're doing it, they have a ward, but we are just uh, way too quick for them and they were too bottom. You really want to be careful with that. That's just a, such a common mistake that people go and farm the lanes together uh, this late into the game. Warwick flashes in, goes for Soraka. We're not quite there to follow up. Oh, uh, uh, excited burp of Giggity. Trying to get a stun off, getting it off from Akali. I don't use my ultimate here though because, yeah, she had a flash. I, I, I won't say that I knew that, but I had a feeling we wouldn't be able to burst her, so I didn't. And maybe I was wrong, maybe I was right. But either way, we pushed them back, and Akali is going back, which is gonna give us some leverage to uh, poke us out. Oh, well, that was bad. The best wall in the entire game. Yes, I agree with you, Spaz. You're a knob. <laughs> so, uh, poking away at this turret now, and I'm trying to catch up. Will I be ready? Oh, triple kill! And focusing down that Ezreal with the ultimate, and he is dead. Wow. My god, that was a good, that was a good stun, really. Uh, I think I, I pulled them off pretty well right now. I've, I'm feeling quite confident. Going back and forth in here. Uh, killing these minions, trying to get a wall off on Akali. Getting it in her, then she's gonna... Getting it in her? Ooh! References, and I'm just gonna kite her out there, tanking the turret, getting a last hit. Um, I love the fact that when you actually catch someone within the wall... Oh, nice suppression there from Warwick. Soraka is going down, followed up by my Deathfire Grasp and Q. And together with the damage from the others, that is gonna be a nice kill. Shen, though, getting away. A bit annoying. Uh, when you get someone within the uh, pillars that stuns the target, they usually freak out. And Akali there, she felt like she had no choice but to go for me. And uh, I guess Warwick could have suppressed her, so I guess she was thinking right, but I mean... Yeah, that was just suicidal. <laughs> so right now I am going for... Am I going for Sonya's? No, I'm going for Ravadons. I want to keep that AP high. <laughs> so that is what I'm going to do. And moving in now, I do have Teleport. I'm not going to use it though. I don't see any key situations where I could use it. I might... I could go bottom. Um, but I think that we grabbed that blue from them. Uh, I weren't that uh, sure about it. But now I do see Akali top. So uh, I'm going to shout it. Akali! And then I'm going to go in, knowing that she doesn't have flash, she used it in the team fight, remember, in mid, and I'm just going to follow up, and I could probably stun her, but I'm going to flash just to be sure, and using that, that fire gra grasp and everything else is going to be a free kill. So, um, that's a good use of teleport right there. A, a character overextended that you know doesn't have any um, escape mechanisms, and the enemies are not there due to wards and good positioning and, and knowing where they are. It's just a simple free kill that was analyzed for... Uh, analyzed for forward I'm just gonna stop you know what I mean so try and think a bit beyond the normal like where's the enemy that I can kill wow uh, yeah banana good job spaz good job <laughs> getting hit in the face Hello. I'm gonna and now we're gonna poke this turret. We do have super minions incoming mid. They're gonna have to go and defend that. And we're gonna... Oh my god, take some damage for it. I do have the um, spell ramp thingy there. So I'm, I'm gonna be able to heal up on the minions a little bit. But in the meantime, Olaf is pushing out that mid. So they are gonna have to defend that through, uh, from the inner turrets. Uh, taking damage. And then we're just gonna go for bottom. With minions incoming. That is gonna be cool. Uh, Baron. We have buffs. We have control of everything. We really managed to pull this game back into our favor. And now it's just a matter of if we are going to screw this up or not. And right now we're just poking at this inhib, getting that down, good job. And they are just too scared to move in right now. So when I have my stun up, they can't basically get to me. I mean, Akali could go in, but then she'll just get suppressed and everything. I don't think she has Quicksilver, so yeah. And I'm just surprised, it's just so sad to see. I'm surprised how few people actually buy uh, Merc Tress against Vagar. That is what you need to do. So here's Shen, I don't want to go for Shen, but here he steps off way too forward, so I'm just gonna have to nuke him down immediately. I cannot ignore when they step into my face like that. Uh, even though I probably want to save my combo for a more squishy, a uh, more valuable target like Ezreal or Akali or something like that. Or, or Soraka for that matter. And she's gonna flash in for a free kill, I don't know what that was. <laughs> and that, oh, that ultimate of Nunu. Trying to get that kill still. I know he was trying to. Tristana doing a lot of nice damage right now. And that range on a fed Tristana is just very, very, very nice. Uh, getting that stun off Akali. Can Tristana follow that up? Oh, way too early oh, yeah, ultimate wait. there. And I am going face into s -Rail. <laughs> and I'm gonna die and shove something very weird and strange at the same time. Ash was trying to run away, fast forwarding a little bit here. He's probably also gonna get down. Oh, he was just about to jump and he got hit with a mystic shot. Getting that, Will of the Ancients, getting some armor for my Zonias. And now, <laughs> I remember this was a funny part. So, if you look at the minimap right now, uh, you can see that we have three inhibs, we have minions pushing all the lanes, we have taken everything in the jungle, there's nothing for us to do. Nothing for us to do on the map. And we do this. <laughs> Let's have a dance party. What's first? Dance. 
Starfall! Oh, you can just do that. Oh my god, the trolls! The trolls, the trolls. Um, there it is, the Baron spawn. We're gonna grab that. Uh, one of my blue, but I didn't have the um, timer on it, so I wasn't sure. And now we're just gonna move through. And there it is. No, it's not. Okay. Gonna do a little flash kill here on Akali. I'm gonna flash over the wall. She does have Merc Treads, but it's not gonna be enough. I do still have that damage. And uh, yes, she is dead. So uh, I mentioned it a bit earlier. Always get freaking Merc Treads against Vagar. Always, as first boots. If you get that, it's just so much less efficient. If you don't get it, he has the potential of nuke you down immediately. And that is basically all I've got for you today for this full game commentary. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. And if you did, feel free to hit that like button, add it to your favorite. It helps me out immensely. Share this with your friends if you think it was enjoyable, informative, weird, or crazy in any way. Planty wants you to either way. Or don't you Planty? Come on. Yes, he does. Yes. You know what I do with the comments. I read most of them. I try to keep up with all the comments. Feel free to comment anything that's on your mind in the comment box below. If you're new to my channel, check out the content I got. Some guys, I've got some commentaries. I got some fun moments that you can check out. And subscribe if you don't want to miss any future content. This has been Spazzy, and. I am out. Do